First, let's work on the title page. Keep the font as Arial and the size 11. Add page numbers by clicking on Insert Page Numbers and select the top left box. Click on Line Spacing and select Double. Press the Enter key four times. Center a line and type in bold the title. Press enter twice and the next information will be an unbolded text. This will be the author's name or the student's name. Press enter and on the next line you'll have the name of the department for your course and the college's name. The line after that will be the course number and name followed by the instructor's name and the date. To start the body of your paper, click on insert, break, page break. If your instructor requires that you include an abstract, include it here with the word abstract in bold and center aligned. The text for the abstract will be unbolded and have no indentation. For the keywords, press enter and tab and type in keywords in italics and important keywords from your paper. Next is the introduction section. Click on insert, break, page break, center align the text and type the title again in bold, press enter and the tab key to indent your introductory paragraph. Throughout your paper you will use in-text citations with the author's name, publication date, and the page number where the quote or information can be found. After the introduction section of your paper you may include level one headings like materials and methods and second level headings like design, participants, and materials. At the end of your paper, you must also include a references page that matches your in-text citations. So we're gonna click on insert, break, page break, and we're gonna title the references page references center align it and put this in bold, press enter, and say if you find a uh, citation from one of our library databases you could copy that but always refer back to a style guide to make sure that it's formatted correctly and you can paste this here. All of the references in your references page must have a hanging indent so to do that you would highlight the citation, click on format, align and indent, indentation options, special indent, or use the drop down menu to select hanging and press apply. And now you will have the hanging indentation in your citations. Thank you for watching and good luck on your paper.